Hi, my name is Avsen Nikolaev and I want to show you my little project that I did in my spare time. What you're looking at are creatures I call spiders, in spite of they have only four legs. All they do is walking. And the amazing thing is that they learn how to do it all by themselves. This is achieved by using combination of very powerful and simple machine learning techniques called genetic algorithm and neural networks. The neural network plays the role of the brains of the spiders that control their movement. The genetic algorithm is evolution-inspired algorithm that configures the neural network's brains so that it evolves each generation. Let's see how this happens. Generation 1 As you can see, spiders doesn't actually do anything. They just lie. Well, except that one who does little movements. Generation 3 No big difference is noticeable. Although, this guy looks more determined. Let's make a larger jump. Generation 20. Spiders are doing random moves in all directions. They are like children who does not know how to control their legs yet. Generation 50. They learn to move better by making these quick movements with one of their legs. Generation 100 They have obviously perfected it. But still, it doesn't look like the most efficient way of walking. Let's go further. Generation 500 Looks smoother. Generation 1000 They does not use quick jumps anymore. Actually, you can see that they use all their four legs in quite efficient way. Generation 2000 Well, look at them now. They are like real-life four legs animals. Let's look at them at slow motion. Look at all those tiny little movements it does with their legs. Notice how accurately it learned to use edges of its squared foot to push from the ground. So, why do they do it at all? Why do they want to walk? The answer to this lies in the evolutionary process. In real life, all the species in the world, including humans, have two primary points – to survive as individual and to survive as species. These are the baseline for every feeling we get and everything we do. This is something we are always trying to perfect. This is our biological point of life. This biological point of life in terms of machine learning is called fitness function. And the beauty of genetic algorithm is that you can set it to anything you want. So the fitness function for these guys is set 
to walk as fast as possible. This is their point of life. If you think about it, there is a huge potential behind it. You can create such virtual robots with any form you like, set the fitness function to anything you want, put them in any environment you want, and they will do their best to learn how to perfect themselves in this environment. And someday we will be able to teach such robots to do practical things in the real world.